In this video, we're going to go over the basics of data access groups. You can find the data access group functionality on the left-hand side of the Applications menu. And in short, data access groups are ways of separating out different groups of data, uh, whether that's records or participants or both, um, for different types of users. And so, for example, we may have a Missouri research group and a Kansas research group. And there may be different data, data analysts, uh, different research assistants, uh, different types of people who would need to access Kansas data but not Missouri data, and Missouri data but not Kansas data. And so to assign different users, simply select the user and assign it to the relevant group. And it's important to note that you'll have to do this before you collect any data at all, since any data that you collect is going to be prefixed um, that is, there's going to be a unique identifier before that data, um, assigning it to whatever group that it belongs. Uh, so if you create these after you collect data, there will be no way to separate the data into the distinct data access groups. For more functionality, you can read some documentation, uh, and we'll also do consultations to, to make sure that under everybody understands how to use data access groups.